Hey, what's up everyone? So today we'll be doing differential equations. That's pretty much the application side of your integration and your differentiation. Uh, majority of the time you'll be given some form of derivative, in our case dy dx equals 2x, and then afterwards you're asked to solve for the original function, which is y in terms of x. And um, you'll, get, you'll be given some points, so x equals 0, y equals 1, to solve for that c value because you know if you integrate something you end up with plus c at the end and that's what the point is for and of course um, sometimes they also give you uh, they want you to find a the y value when x equals something else so um, there's a long way of doing this and I'll show you the shortcut which is really uh, useful when especially when your derivative is something really long All right so let's do the long way first so this is the long way the normal way which most students would do um, the y dx equals 2x, so y equals the antidiff of 2x. And you just get x squared plus power 1 divided by 2 plus c. Of course, if you want to find plus c, you sub in this point right here. And we get sub 0, 1. y equals 1, 0 squared plus c, so therefore c equals to 1. Your n equation is x squared plus 1. And then you just find uh, the answer, find the value of y when x equals to 1. So you just have to sub x equals to 1 to find your y value. In this case, 1 squared plus 1 equals to 2. So your answer, your final answer is when x equals to 1, y equals to 2. And I'll show you the shortcut way of doing this. Because um, this one's, well, it's pretty simple. You can do it really fast even using the long way because the equation isn't that hard. And there's sometimes there's also the short way of doing this. Oh, not sometimes, all the time, if you're given these types of questions where you're given a derivative, you're given a point, and you're asked to find specifically, this only works for uh, these type of questions, uh, when you're asked to find y when x equals to something. Right, so if you remember this, it's a really useful shortcut. So the formula is, if you want to find the y value right here, what you do is you integrate, so it's still 2x dx, but you're using the definite integral. So what that means is, we know that when x equals 0, y equals to 1, you put your 0, the x equals 0 at the bottom, and you put your, for x equals 0, y equals 1, you put that there. So if it's minus 1, you put a minus 1 here. In this case, it's plus 1, we put plus 1. And on the top, your upper terminal, you put 1. So whatever x value they ask you. If they ask you for, find the value of y when x equals negative 100, you put negative 100 on top. It doesn't matter if negative 100 is smaller than 0, it has to always be on top. And the point given to you is x on the bottom, the lower terminal, and the y value just on this, uh, after the integrand. And then just integrate it. So x squared, 1, 0, plus 1. And we just bring in 1 over here, 1 squared. And then if you want to bring in 0, minus 0 squared, plus 1. 1 plus 1 equals to 2, which is the same answer as what you've had here. So this short way is really useful, especially if you have a um, like a big derivative. And you don't have to go oh, solve for plus c, because sometimes plus c can take a long time when you're given like a complex um, uh, derivative. But if you know the short way, which is solving equations by definite integral, it definitely helps. So that's pretty much the short uh, the trick I want to teach you today, guys and uh, hopefully you find it useful. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.